If anyone had said to me that I'd have ended up on the streets, I would have laughed in their face. Sleeping on a park bench, it's cold, lonely, scary. Being homeless is an absolute nightmare. In my time on the street, there was a lot of violent people on the streets, people that you couldn't trust, people that would rob you. It was basically survival of the fittest. I was eating out of, out of bins, I was picking up dog ends off the floor. You can't sleep because any slightly little noise, you're like, oh, what's that? And you're always on the paranoia in case you get attacked and it's really, honestly, really scary. People become homeless for a number of different reasons. Some are ex-service people, some are people escaping domestic violence, and some are driven into it because they are suffering from drug and alcohol addictions. The trigger for being homeless for me uh, was my father passing away. So then I started drinking. Um, I didn't have anywhere to go. My family wouldn't have me. There was personal difficulties between me and my family. I was constantly arguing and I had to um, literally move out. I started private renting and then I had some difficulty with landlords and then they just said, right, out you go. So I was on the park bench for a couple of, about two, three months. I, uh, I went to Bosnia in 1994 and 1995 and thought I'd dealt with all the things that I'd been through. Eleven years later, I started suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. I was using drink to mask the problem and I suppose trying to kid myself that it would all go away and sadly, inevitably, that was not the case. When I first arrived at the hostel, I had no socks on, I had a big bush head, I stank, my personal hygiene was non-existent, I couldn't think properly, I was just lost. People looked at me like, what's she doing here? But it was really horrible when I moved in because I was like straight in the bath. The bath come up black. <laughs> when someone comes off the street, they come with literally nothing except the clothes they stand up in. We're able to provide them with a welcome pack, and that will include things like a toothbrush, a toothpaste, soap, and other things that people who've come in off the streets quite often desperately need. It's a godsend, you know, when you've been out there stinking of rain, smell of BO, you know. Uh, and the bath and brushing your teeth is, is great, you know. Many people who come into the hostels that we support are heavily traumatised and need not only physical counselling, but also psychological counselling as well to help them get their lives moving forward. Since coming to uh, Mark Jackson House, I underwent probably, I think it was about four months worth of post-traumatic stress treatment. Since then I've not had any night terrors about Bosnia or anything and we're talking now probably about nine or ten months since I've seen him which is a bit of a miracle really and from someone who's a little bit sceptical I'm so glad that I saw the guy because he's really really helped me with that um, area of my life. We fund a diverse range of projects that enable people to uh, apply for work opportunities and help them become productive members of society again. I'm going to have my food and hygiene certificate, learning to do spag bowl today, and hopefully I'll be able to cook for the residents in here. If you just pour it in and then stir it once it's all poured in. We also provide a resettlement pack so that when someone is ready to move on from a hostel into an apartment or a flat, uh, we are able to help them. It's the moving on that is so exciting. They sometimes keep in touch with us and come back and help us as we help others to move on. Coming in, Daniel. I'm a support worker now for uh, these guys here. But yeah, a big part of my job is to listen, um, give them love, give them respect, and point them in the right direction. Bless you. Hopes and plans for the future is to be a youth worker with kids. I love kids. I come straight out of my personality with kids. Let's collect bean bag. Throw it to your hoop. Being a youth worker, I can help them and say, look, be good to your mum, be good to your dads. Go out and have ambitions and goals and you will get far in life. Maybe you should cook more often then. You're cooking in my pasta every single day. <laughs> The end goal for me as a person and a dad is to 
get back to independent living, my own postal address again, and to be a model dad to my daughter Daisy, who I absolutely adore. Jesus encourages us to love one another, and in Church Housing Trust we seek to move out to those who find life difficult and to offer them a helping hand that they might rediscover themselves. It makes a huge, huge difference just to have somewhere to call home again. You just feel like you belong again and you're not that lost soul walking around all the time trying to find somewhere safe to sleep. To get people to donate here, you're changing people's lives and you're saving people's lives because the love that you're showing donating their staff, it goes a long way for someone who's homeless that doesn't have anything and they will always remember that.